to the Alpine Inn. My name is Brooke. My family works here at the inn, so this is my home. I just love it so much when new friends come and stay with us in the snowy mountains. Speaking of snow, have you ever seen soft, white, chilly snow before? <gasps> snow is my favorite. And as you can see, we have plenty to play in. Would you like to play in the snow with me? <gasps> Merry Mittens! This is gonna be so much <gasps> Mittens! I almost forgot! We can't play out in the snow without our mittens, then our hands will be really cold. Okay. Even this shivering snowman has his winter clothes, so let's all make sure that we're dressed just like him. First, you need to put on your mittens, like me, so your fingers won't get frosty. So everyone hold up your hands and slide your mittens on. Whew. Even our snowman has buttons like the buttons on our jackets. So let's all put our jackets on and count the buttons. Whew. One, two, three buttons. Now you need to put on your warm hat so your head can be toasty warm. Do it with me. Whew. You guys look snowtastic. Now, if only there were some fresh falling snow from the sky. <gasps> Friends, do you wish it would snow some more right now? <gasps> then everyone stand up, let's do the snow dance together. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Pat your hat. Clap your mittens. Stomp your boots. Now freeze! Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Spin around. Jump up and down. High five a friend. Now freeze. <gasps> Shivering snowflakes, it's snowing! <gasps> Playing in the snow is my favorite. My mom says that when I play out here, I need to follow two rules. Can you hold up one finger and say be kind? You got it. Now let me see you hold up two fingers and say, be safe. That's right, those are the two rules. Now let's go play in the snow. When I found out you were coming today, I made a plan for what we could do together. Make snow castles. Have you ever made a snow castle? Snow castles are just like sand castles, except they're just made out of snow. Okay, so here's what we need to do. First, you have to fill this bucket with snow and pack it tight. So everybody, get your bucket and start scooping snow inside. <gasps> Friends, I just found a mitten in the snow. I bet someone lost it playing out here earlier. I'll stick it in my jacket pocket and we can take it back to the end. So let's keep making our snow castle. All right, make sure you pat it down nice and tight. And on the count of three, let's flip our buckets over and see how our castles turned out. Here we go. One, two, three, flip your bucket. <gasps> you did it. Now slowly lift your bucket up and ta-da! You have a beautiful snow castle. Whew. I love building these snow castles, but it sure did make me tired and super cold. We better go back inside before we turn into snowmen. To go back to the end, just say this after me. Snowy snowflakes. Icy storm, let's go back and get warm. Whew, melty marshmallows, it feels so nice and warm in here. I don't think we need our snow clothes anymore, so let's take off our big jackets. Whew. And we can take our hats off and mittens too. 
almost forgot about the mint I found in the snow. <gasps> Speaking of snow, I had a blast playing out in the snow with you. I wish I could bring all the snow inside with me because it's my favorite. But what would happen if I brought real snow in here? That's right, it would melt. So instead, I look at the snow in my snow globe. Now, this might look like an ordinary snow globe, but it's not. Wait until you see something magical is going to happen. Do you wanna give it a shake? All right, I was hoping you'd say so because my special snow globe is home to my friend, Minnie Moose. Oh, I can't wait to see what story she has for us today, but I need all of you to help me out. So everybody hold up your pretend snow globes and give it a good shakey shake shake. Well, hello, friends. While your toes get toasty, let me tell you a story. This story comes from the best book ever written, the Bible. Go ahead and use your frosty fingers to click on your listening ears. Click, click. <laughs> That's it. Now you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, snowtastic. When we read the Bible, we can see that God has good plans for his people. Let's read a story and see how God had good plans for a young girl and an army commander. When an enemy army attacked God's people, this young girl was taken from her family and became a servant. She served the wife of the enemy army commander named Naaman. Naaman was a strong leader but he got sick with a terrible skin disease. The young servant girl told Naaman's wife about Elisha, a man who loved God and would know how to heal Naaman. The wife told Naaman what the servant girl had told her about Elisha. So Naaman and his servants traveled to see Elisha. Elisha told Naaman to go wash in the Jordan River seven times. Even though that seemed super easy to do, Naaman was used to being the boss, and he didn't want to do what someone else told him to do. Finally, Naaman listened and washed himself in the river. After the seventh time, Naaman came out of the water, and his skin was all better. God had good plans for the servant girl, and he used her to help Naaman. God had good plans for Naaman, too. Naaman didn't love God or believe any of God's promises before he became sick. But after he met Elisha and was healed, he began to love God and believe in his promises. This was all part of God's good plan. Let me hear you say this after me. God has... God has... Good plans. Good plans. I can't wait to discover more of God's promises with you. See you again soon. That was so cool to see how God had a good plan for the servant girl. Even when things didn't seem so good. God used the servant girl to help name and discover God's good plans for him. And it is super exciting to know that God promises he has good plans for you and me too. So let me hear you say this after me. God has good plans. All right, when we read the Bible, we learn that God promises he has good plans for us. And speaking of promises, that reminds me of a song I know. So let's all stand up and sing it together. You keep your promises. I know I can trust in Your words are always true God makes 
rest your snow boots on the ground. That fa-la-la fantastic song made me think of a verse from the Bible that I wanted to share with you. And it goes like this, just say it after me. God makes a promise and then he keeps it. Numbers 2319. You got it. All that singing made me thirsty for some yummy warm cocoa. Would you like some too? All right, here at the Alpine Inn, my parents always give us marshmallows for our warm cocoa. If we can remember what we need to know. So here is our first marshmallow question. Did God use a squirrel or a servant girl to help Naaman? That's right, God had good plans for the servant girl. She is the one who helped Naaman get to someone who knew how to heal his skin disease. Okay, here's our other marshmallow question. Does God promise that he has good plans for you and me? Yes, God promises that he has good plans for us. He wants you and me to help others too. Oh, and I think that's why we found this mitten in the snow. God uses to help someone find their lost mitten. How cool is that? And because we remembered what we needed to know today, we get our marshmallows and our hot cocoa. So let's all take a sip. Mmm, mine tastes delicious. I think I need to get a snack to go with this. I'm going to head to my room and you all need to get going back to your rooms too. But before you go, don't forget that God promises he is always with you. So let me hear you say this after me. God has good plans. Great! Be sure to bundle up if you go back out into the snow, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!